Hello friends, welcome back to the iSunshare channel. Today, we will learn how to use iSunshare BitLocker Genius for Windows, the BitLocker Drive Encryption Software for Windows, especially for Windows 11 10 Home Edition. First, you can learn how to enable BitLocker on your Windows computer. Now open the software. All the volumes are shown here. Just select the drive to encrypt. Then right-click the drive and choose Turn on BitLocker. OK, please set your password and confirm it. Well, click Save to File button to save the BitLocker recovery key file in your destination folder. OK, make sure the Encrypt Use Disk Space option is checked. Now click the Encrypt button. Well, after minutes, the drive is set with BitLocker protection. Then you can lock the encrypted BitLocker drive on your computer. Just right-click the drive and choose the Lock Drive option. You can see a lock on the drive in no time. How can you unlock the BitLocker drive with this software? Let's go! Right-click the Lock Drive and choose Unlock Drive. There are two ways for you to unlock the BitLocker drive. You can tick the Use Password option and then enter the correct password. After that, click the Unlock button. Now the drive is unlocked on this computer. If you forgot the password, you can use Recovery Key. Just tick the Recovery Key option. Then find and open your recovery key file to copy the 48-digit recovery key. Paste it into the software and then click the unlock button. Soon, the drive is unlocked. To disable the BitLocker encryption on the drive, you can use the Turn Off BitLocker function on the software. When the drive is unlocked, right-click the drive and then choose Turn Off BitLocker. Immediately, the BitLocker encryption is disabled on the drive. But when the drive is locked, you need to unlock the drive first. Right-click the drive and then choose Turn Off BitLocker option. You can use password or recovery key to unlock the drive. Finally, click the Decrypt button. Minutes later, the drive is decrypted successfully. That's all for the video. I will see you in the next tutorial.